Archaeologists and geneticists have sequenced the genome of a boy sacrificed 500 years ago in the Inca Empire, and what they found is that there was a diversity of genome in the Americas before the Spaniards landed. And now, what we know is this is a seven-year-old boy, Nick, that was sacrificed by the Inca Empire, and he was in the Aconcagua. The Aconcagua is the highest mountain in the world outside of Asia. And Comparing the DNA to a da database that they have of modern people and ancient people, they found that there's only four people that have this specific DNA signature, three modern people from Peru and Bolivia, and one ancient person from the Wari Empire. The Wari Empire was the original people of Peru. They predate the Incas, and they, they, you know, they were rulers of the land for a long, long time, but their DNA f footprint is gone. Why? Because when the Spanish conquest came, the men were mainly the, the ones that came, priests, soldiers, governors, and when they came, they wiped out, along with the diseases that they brought, they wiped out 90% of the native South American population, the men start repopulating the, the genetic pool. And this is very, very important because we know now that there was another genetic component to the South American genome, 18,000 years old, that is pretty much disappeared from South America. So what you're saying is basically, in layman's terms, we found a new type of human. Yes. Okay, that is awesome in itself. That is freaking awesome. But what I find most fascinating is, you know, no matter where you are, whether you're looking at ancient peoples of Mexico, let's say the Mayans, for example, or, you know, you're looking at ancient cultures in the Egypt, the ancient Egyptians, or even in Asia, you always find mummies. And not only do you find mummies, but you, you oftentimes find mummies that were sacrificed yes. uh, to appease the gods. You know, whether it's a blood sacrifice or you just cut their head off and roll them down a ziggurat, that in itself too is crazy. But, but you know, it, it's so interesting to me that, that, you know, humans who were, at least we know, had no contact with each other, you know, they were doing kind of similar things yes. as if it's like human nature or something. And, you know, I, I find that most interesting here. And I'm going to stop there because this is when I start to venture into alien territory <laughs> and then people start to walk away whistling. Um, but, but yeah, again, this is really cool. And it makes you kind of think, you know, uh, what about all those kinds of humans that we don't know about that got erased completely or you know if we're going to look into the future where are we going exactly the migration changing? Yeah, migration has affected the human genome and the genetic pool in different regions now that you're interested in this sacrifice ritual i'm going to tell you his the name is capochoca and it was something that was uh, often young high-born kids were offered to the gods and they had the belief that the gods stack up on each other as they, you know, as they were more important. So to go to the highest mountain of the region and sacrifice these high-born kids was the most important, the biggest gift that you can give to the gods. So that's the religious aspect to this. But one, scientifically, one of the biggest things is that the Aconcagua mummy is very special because how well preserved it was. Because of the high altitude and the freezing temperatures, the conservation of the mummy is incredible, and that's why they were able to look into the DNA. Another imp important aspect of it is that this information was found in the mitochondrial DNA, and that further supports the theory that, there in, in, that indeed was the fact that the Spaniard conquest was all men that started wiping out the, this type of DNA, like the Wari Empire people, that is 18,000 years old, and yet today we learn that little by little it's completely gone from their native region. I mean, look at the skin, the teeth, the hair, it's all its all there and it, it's so amazing. You know, maybe it's that arid, dry air or, or the fact that it's freezing cold up in these mountains that preserved it so well. I mean, it, it looks amazing and you know, has anyone ever told you you look great for your age? You do not like 500, you look 203. Yeah, it's crazy what science can do. 500 year old mummy opens the secrets to a civilization of people that lived 18,000 years ago.